dealing with cubic sequences. Lesson objective is to understand a cubic sequence and to make the n term formula for cubic sequence. The prior knowledge that we need here is to know what is the difference between a linear quadratic and a cubic sequence. Now a sequence 5, 10, 15, 20 is called a linear sequence uh, because we know that the common difference between the terms uh, is a constant. You have plus 5, plus 5 here. So every time uh, you have the constant first difference for a linear sequence considering the term 0, 11, 28, 51, 80. Looking for the first difference, you can see it's 11 plus 17 plus 23 plus 29. First difference here is not a constant. So you look for the second difference, 17 minus 11, 6. 23 minus 17 is again 6 and 29 minus 23 is again 6. So here we have the second difference as a constant. So we call this sequence as a quadratic sequence. Now let's consider 4, 14, 40, 88 and 164. Now in this sequence, if you look at the difference, 14 minus 4 is 10, 40 minus 14 giving me 26, 14 minus 40 is giving me 48, and 164 minus 88 giving me a 76. Now taking, so this is my first difference. Finding the second difference, 26 minus 10, I have 16. 48 minus uh, 26, I have 22. 76 minus 48 is 28. And again, I can see my second difference is not a constant value. I look for the third difference. 22 minus 16 giving me 6. 28 minus 22 giving me a 6. So here I can see that my third difference is a constant value 6. Now this happens with a cubic sequence. A sequence in which you have a constant third difference is a cubic sequence. Now the general form of a cubic sequence can be given as a n q plus b n squared plus c n plus d where a not equal to zero now your aim is to find what is a b c and d once you find a b c and d you can just bring them together and just write in the form a n q plus b n square plus c n plus d so let's start uh, with the first question. Find the n term rule for the sequence given. Now, uh, as we started with this question, we know this is a cubic sequence, and the first difference was calculated um, as 10, 26, 48, and 76. The second difference is where you have 26 minus 10 giving you 16, 48 minus 26, which is 22, and 76 minus 48 giving you 28. Now calculating the third difference, which is 6, and we saw that the third difference, uh, the term is a constant 6. And now how are we going to find A, B, C, and D? I will be using four equations to find A, B, C, and D. The first one starting with uh, the equation for A. I'll write 6A is equal to the third difference. So my 6a is 6, which means my a is going to be 1. Now to find b, my equation is going to be 12a plus 2b equal to first term of the second difference. So 12a plus 2b equals 16. I'll be putting the value for a here 
So I have 12 times 1. My A is equal to 1. So 12 times A is 12 plus 2B giving me 16. 2B is equal to 16 minus 12. 2B is equal to 4 and my B is equal to 4 divided by 2 giving me a 2. Number 3, I'm going to find C from my first difference. And the equation that I'm going to use is 7A plus 3B plus C equal to my first term of my first difference. So making the equation 7A plus 3B plus C equal to 10. I know my A is 1, so 7 times 1 remains 7 plus uh, my B is 2. So 3 times 2 giving me a 6 plus C is equal to 10. Uh, 7 plus 6 giving me 13 plus C is equal to 10. And my C is 10 minus 13 giving me a negative 3. My last step is to find D and for D I'll be using the equation A plus B plus C plus D is equal to the first term of the sequence. So I have a plus b plus c plus d equal to 4. I have my a, I have the value for b, I have the value for c. So I'll substitute them. 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus d gives me 4. I have this is 3 minus 3 is 0 plus d is 4 and my value for d is equal to 4. I have the values for A, B, C and D. I know the general form of this should be A and Q plus B and squared plus C and plus D. So just substitute the values. So my final answer will be N cube plus 2N squared minus 3N plus 4. So this is my n term rule for this cubic sequence. Thank you.